Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. We are here in the Luminous Bathhouse. I was about to say the Luminous Audra Bathhouse. Checking things out. Got a bit of a quicker one for you today. Strap sure. for time. Sorry about that, but eh, what can you do? Anyway, let us continue around here. Look around, talk to some folks, see what's up. Check out this little aquarium. Rare and colorful fish swim from end to end of the watery enclosure. Oh, look at that. It's like a little ocean. Oh, we need one of those for our ship. <laughs> we do need one of those for a ship. How do we get that? Is it enclosed here through magic? It looks like it, doesn't it? I can't quite tell if there's actually glass there, if it's just some sort of magical thing. Eh, hmm, very no neat. All right. Let's see over here. Should we talk to the steward? They have a name. The cost of enjoying the bathhouse's unique offering is 1,000 copper per session. Wow. What is the unique offering? The bathhouse steward crosses his arms and smiles. His look holds an invitation, but warning, too. Why so much? A prudent question. He draws himself up to his full height and puts his hands behind his back. The bathwaters are infused with hand-refined luminous adra, which promotes a holistic balance of the humors. Is this, is this a real thing, or is this just bullshit? All right, continue. Because of luminous adra's remarkable qualities, it is also a significant investment to both supply and maintain. Huh. Ganor may tell you more if you're curious. He is something of an amateur alchemist. In addition to being a businessman of remarkable skill and insight. Is this a scam? Is this just a scam? Look, we have an insight check of four. Huh. Do I really want to pay a thousand fucking quatloos for this? Maybe, but not right now. <laughs> right? We're a little, uh... That'd be quite a bit, right? Let's take a look here. Yeah, that's a that's fucking ten percent of everything we got. I don't know if I'm ready to jump off uh, <laughs> off of that fucking cliff. Got it. All right, man. Wow. Let's uh. Yeah. Let's see. Can we? Can, is this a? Uh... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Jeez. Already, I feel the water's effects. Me too. Jeez. The titties are just out in yeah. full force. Oh my goodness. All right, Amrio. What's up? Let's is see. Is this your first time to the baths? An old man stretches his arms over his head and yawns, making a show of displaying his moistened physique. Wow, that's a that's a pairing of words I'm not sure I was prepared for. All right, I haven't been in the water yet. Looks like someone needs a nap. Wow, that's mean. Uh, I should go right now. <laughs> I haven't been in the water yet. Ah, the cost is high, but so are the delights. Oh my goodness. I might have the skin and bones of a retired scarecrow, but the waters bring youth back where it counts. Man, actually, I really do enjoy his voice acting right there. He studies you from under a lowered brow as his knees begin to drift apart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, is this... Are we about to... Are we about to fuck this old man? Is that what's about to happen? Hmm... Okay, or is he just is he just showing us his unit here? Go on. Nope, you can stop that right now. Or oh my gosh, if we're an Orlin or a dwarf, we have a check here. What could possibly be that check? What could possible what could I possibly do right here if I were an Orlin or dwarf as this man is about to show me his unit? What? <laughs> You genuinely believe I needed to hear and see this. I should go right now. Huh. You know what? Fine. Let's see this old guy's unit. Why not? We've seen terrible dragons, violent, terrible guttings of people, people being possessed by awful spirits. Why not add to the list this old man's penis? Why not? Go on. Let's see it. All of Team Watcher, behold. Come on! If only we had a bit of privacy. Maybe in another life, eh? Maybe. <laughs> he winks, sighing to himself and catching his breath. <laughs> what a fantastic exchange! No problem. <laughs> I love it. All right. How about this dude? Herwina. Or I this lady, I should say. Spent too much time in the baths. A young woman takes her measure wearing a concerned frown. Lie, time's up. It's fine. I don't work here. Say nothing. It's fine. I don't work here. I see. My thanks for clearing that up. In any case, we hope you enjoy your time. 
her companion suddenly tips her head to shoo you away. <laughs> should we should we fucking be an RPG protagonist and just be like, as they're clearly trying to have like an intimate moment, just be like, so what brings you to the bathhouse? What's your background? Have you heard any rumors? <laughs> I'm chasing a giant Audra man. Have you seen him? <laughs> sure, what brings you to the bathhouse? I am helping Herwina to conceive. Oh my she came god! all the way from the deer wood, and I will see that she returns with arms laden with young. Oh my goodness! In the bathhouse? Fuck, shit, okay. Senu grins her way. After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in those blighted lands. Ah. This place is a miracle. Every day I emerge from the baths as a new woman, and my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. She looks to Sienu with a bright smile. Well, good luck with that. I don't think that's a guaranteed result. Metaphysics check. That will never work. Enjoy the bath. Huh. Is correcting her here like a dick thing to do? Is that like a shitty thing to do to someone? I don't know. Because we definitely have some sort of like knowledgeable input. But would we be a fucking douchebag? I I'm not sure if my read on this is that we're just being a fucking condescending prick. Or if we're actually trying to be helpful. Fuck. Eh, fuck it, let's do it. We just <laughs> we just offered to look at an old man's penis. Why, why not? I don't think that's a guaranteed result. Hopefully, my read on it is that we're being helpful. We're being genuinely, sincerely helpful. Is that true? She blinks at Sainu. Do not listen. Luminous Audra is the life of the dead fire. It can bring life to you, I say. Oh shit, is she trying to fucking scam her? Oh my god, and in a really fucked up way. Usually I'm down for a fucking scam, but this, I don't know. Good god. Alright, she rests her palm on Herwina's shoulder and dismisses you with a look. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that's that's kind of fucking dark, huh? Alright. Oh shit, look at some warriors. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow! Am I gonna am I gonna get fucking banned? Jeez, hold up a second. <laughs> Let's see, can, uh, hmm, I'm not gonna get fucked over, right? There's people who've played this game before. Uh, hmm, all right. Let's see here, anything, no, nothing of that descript. Huh. Let's see. Anything here of interest? <laughs> hmm, let's see, big heads, man. You get all oh, that takes on a whole other meaning here, huh? All right. Huh. You know, I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go all in. <laughs> sure. Machari Warrior, how's it going? Have you tried the bathing pool? Oh, Kira, its waters allow you to absorb the powers of the dead. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. You're too morbid, my friend. The Adra Ganor uses has been blessed by the gods, and it is their blessing that empowers you. Huh. Yeah. All right. Sure. Man, I have no idea how much of this is actually legit or just a fucking scam. Like, what was going on there? My read on that was that she was totally trying to fucking scam her, right? All right. What's up, Ganor? Oh, you're, um... Oh, God. What kind of a godlike are you? I don't even remember them all. You are greeted by a tall, carefully composed man. The crescent moon in the center of his forehead glows faintly. Up close, the careful tailoring of his opal-adorned robes and their immaculate cleanliness speak to a deep well of vanity. Welcome, welcome. I am Ganor, owner and proprietor of the Luminous Bathhouse. Okay. If there's any way I might make your visit more comfortable, you need only ask. He clasps his hands and bows a playful smile tugging at the corners of his lips. Your exchange with Amrio was... observed. Oh. Such behavior is my responsibility. I've tripled his rates until he learns to conduct himself. Who is Amrio, the old man? <laughs> Good God. All right. Jesus. Huh. Okay. G Ganor inclines his head. I have no idea if that's... Hmm. Like, I don't really have a... I didn't say that, like, yo, stop that. I, I implored him, in fact. Huh. Jeez, poor fucking old guy. All right. What do you have for sale? Uh, do you know a boy named Degnos? I mean, okay. I guess suppose it was someone else who wasn't okay with it, right? Someone else who wasn't imploring him. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fair. 
Do you know a boy named Degnos? I'd like to try your bath. Let's see, what do you have for sale? Yeah, what do you have? Moistened Cove. Ugh. Ugh, Jesus, don't call it moistened anything. Moistened physique, mo moistened cove? No thank you to all of the above. Alright. The Bathial Drop. Plus two health restored per six seconds. Plus one max power pool. Wow! So there, this actually does have some sort of effect, right? Although maybe not the one that What's-Her-Name was talking about up there. The Abyss. Plus 25% beneficial effect duration. 10% area of effect. Huh. Interesting stuff. Okay. Yeah, some of these are pretty decent, right? Like healing received? That ain't half bad. Or just passive regen? Like, this one seems like the real winner. Beneficial effect duration and area of effect. It costs more, but honestly, I think the Bathiel drop with the extra power pool? I don't know. That seems really good. Okay. Fair enough. Let's talk more. My friend, you return. If you require anything at all, you need only ask. The corners of his eyes crinkle with genuine delight. All right. Do you know a boy named Degnos? Casita Vetter's servant? The irritating one? Yes, he was here attending her just a few days ago. Ganor waves his hand dismissively and rolls his eyes. He tried to sneak into one of my rooms and told me a pathetic sob story when he was caught. I had the guards toss him out on the street. He smiles, well satisfied with himself. I'd like to try your bath. Of course you would. Just speak with a steward near the stairs. He will make certain you're treated well. Okay. Farewell. Maybe we can come back here after a quest no and get like a discount, like 25% mm -hmm. off or some shit, right? Okay. Let's see. We've spoken with everyone, haven't we? We've got boiler room and upper floor. Okay, let's do a quick save here. Yeah, Amrio is definitely the old man. All right. <laughs> let's head on up here. We'll see what's what. Maybe we can sneak up into that guy's room, right? Huh. Maybe we can find what Degnos was looking for. Who is Degnos? I don't even remember. Who is that? I have no recollection of anyone named Degnos. Let's see. Veins, blow the man down, no. Let's see. It would be... Hmm. Lost dues in good faith? No. Find the ancient chapel? No. Storms of... No. Huh. Do, do we know a Degnos? I don't remember a Degnos at all. I don't remember anyone named Degnos. I don't know what the hell... Oh, look, yeah. Oh, his satchel, of course. Right, okay. Yeah, the eh? satchel guy. Sure. All right. Let's see, bathhouse patron. You guys doing anything over here? The cost is outrageous, but I pay it gladly. All right. Huh. Let's see, maybe we can get our cost down by just stealing shit from them. Do you think almost naked people have money? <laughs> Let's find out. Let's see. Let's go on along up this way, where we have less of a chance of getting seen. Eh? And nothing, of course. How about this guy? No? Okay. Let's check on up here. Leave it to me. Ah, there's someone in here. Okay, you might actually have an item on you. Let's take a peek. There we go. And yeah, you do. Okay, good. And what about up in this? Hmm, some clothing, spall, antidote. Yeah, we know about antidotes, right? Just yoink that. The other room. Oh, Degnos' satchel. Okay. A worn, common-looking satchel. Curiously light. There can't be much in it. All right. And Scoria. Yeah. Okay. Return, return Degnos' satchel to him at the Peddler's Canal in Queen's Birth. All right. So how do we look inside of it? Because I definitely want to. Let's see. Other quest item, right? There we go. Right-click for details. Ooh, what's inside? Oh, no! We broke the satchel? Uh-oh! Aveta's seal. Suspicious letter. Aveta's seal. An intricately carved seal commonly used to prove the origin of a document or the identity of the document's writer. Suspicious letter. Degnos. It's all arranged. So long as your captain sticks to her route, our ship will meet yours at sea three days hence. Don't forget to dump your powder before we arrive. Every cannonball that strikes our hull will be one less limb we leave you with, understand? And be sure to wear a red bandana so we don't kill you by accident. If all goes as planned, 
a spot on our ship, and a fair share of the plunder will be yours, as promised. Signed, Talfor. Yo, they're totally gonna, like, blast down a fucking other ship. Huh. Holy shit, we've totally just stumbled onto a fucking conspiracy of sorts. Alright, well, what do we got in here? Anything good? A uh, potion of merciless gaze, which is... Hits convert to crits. Very useful, right? In fact, you know, maybe I'll just yoink that real quick. And we'll pocket the money. Anything else up in here? Any hidden areas? No. Okay, is this person clothed? No, so they probably don't have anything. Yeah, got it. Alright. Let's see, let's look on up in here. Anything? What have you got? Just some deer clothing. Anything else up here? Could be. Pariki's Overlook. Huh. Is there an exterior area worth checking out here? Maybe. Let's take a look. Man! So now that we've broken open this thing, <laughs> what the fuck will happen? Yeah, he's gonna know for sure. We'll just tell him that uh, we found it like that, right? Someone else did it. it wasn't me. <laughs> I was I was so honest about it. Maybe he'll just attack me in broad daylight now. Or some shit. He'll get mad. Good lord. What a fool. I can't believe he left something so important like that. And just entrusted me to go and grab it, right? Oh my god. Alright. Sure. Your, uh, your screw-up is my gain, I guess. Huh. Maybe we can get in on this. Right? I don't know. Hmm. Are we going to be ending up killing people? Is, is that how it goes? We're going to end up killing people by do, by helping them with this? I'm not sure. Oh, look at this! Oh, what are these called? I used to put these, um, fixtures all over the place in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Right? Do you remember these? You ever play Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day? And, um, you could have these set around the paths of your park and just have, like, water squirt all over the place? Oh my okay. god. One fucking buck wild with that shit. Alright. Bathhouse attendant we can actually speak with. The waters are the only thing that call my hemorrhoids! Alright. Bathhouse attendant. What's up? Guests are entitled to one towel and one towel only. Huh. Okay. A forsaken cat! Wow! Barass Bell. Let's see. Don't worry, cat. You are forsaken no longer. Noah! Okay. What do you do? Plus 25% stride. Okay. And while Noah is following your party, you move more quickly, and your party's attacks are less likely to miss. Wow, by how much? 5% of misses convert to grazes. Huh. Eh? Got it. That might be useful. That might actually just be useful. I don't know, but the stride... What does our current pet do? Let's see. One perception and bonus to max health. Oh, I think Toby is better. I think Toby is just better, Got right? Something. Sure. Okay, maybe if it were hits to crits or something, or grazes to hits, but misses to grazes, I feel like we won't be getting too many of those, right? For 5% to, to make a difference. All right, everybody up here is just having a good-ass time, it seems. All right, let's head on back inside. We'll go down to the boiler room. Oh, look at the cool effect on the doors, huh? That is awesome. All right. Let's see. There we go. Break stealth and we, we go a little bit quicker, huh? We'll check out the boiler room. We still have not found that guy's room, right? Unless it's one of these up mm -hmm. here that we just kind of no stumbled into, which I guess is possible. Yeah, sure, why not? Head on down. I'm surprised there aren't more rooms, right? It would make for a decent enough inn, huh? Yeah. Gosh. What the fuck is going to go on with Degnos up front? That's <laughs> what I'm curious about. All right. Okay, here we go. Very much reminds me of, uh... <laughs> of another bathhouse. Uh, did, was there a bathhouse in Pillars 1? I don't think so, was there? Fucking Josh Sawyer just can't help himself putting bathhouses in his games, right? I was about to say, reminds me of uh, going into the bathhouse during... What do you call it? Um, New Vegas, right? Here we go. Boiler room. Man, what do you think? It's just a bunch of wizards down here, heating it all up. Or a dragon. They have a boiler dragon. <laughs> a train dragon. Oh, look at this. Wow, it's humongo. All right. Yeah, got it. Jeez. All right, look at all this. You guys aren't wearing any clothes either. You'd think you would, but okay. What's up, bathhouse attendant? The boiler never sleeps, so neither do I. Really? You should take a break. What I wouldn't give for a roasted newt. Hmm. 
Okay, can I climb up here? And, like, throw Seraphin inside? No? <laughs> okay, fair. Let's see. Anything... What is this? Oh, shit, what is this? This crack in the wall is perhaps just wide enough to accommodate an Almawa squeezing in sideways. The passage seems to widen deeper the deeper it goes. Huh. Oh, look, only a dare can do it. Oh, too far away. Okay, hang on, let's leave. Let's get everyone up to this, mm -hmm. right? Let's get everyone just kind of sure. squeezed up in there. All right, good. Why not? Let's see. And then, squeeze through the crack. Oh, God. That's very interesting that it had them all listed as too far away. I wonder if that'll be relevant for later at some point. Huh. Like, actually having your positioning on point when you're in the overworld to interact with some of these, um, like, Dungeons and Dragons-esque uh, scripted events? Maybe. Are we allowed back here? I don't even know. Are we going to get arrested or something for sneaking back into this crevice? Maybe we'll find some kind of secret-ass treasure. I'd be down for that. Be down for some secret-ass treasure. Ooh, look! Oh, God. What the fuck? Where are we? Archimere's Manor Laboratories! Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> look at this shit! This wall looks recently repaired. Many of the stones are new and were cut to fit the older structure around it. It would take an appropriate tool or considerable brawn to overcome the steadfast obstacle. Might check? Yeah, we could just fucking smash that shit. Hammer and chisel, chisel away at the mortar. Let's examine it first. Maybe we want to do the chisel and keep it quiet. Let's examine. The wall appears fairly solid and upright, though some patient work with a hammer and chisel could make short work of it. Okay. Oh, an alarms! Look! A perception check! Oh, fucking awesome! You notice fine metal wires nestled among the stone in a web-like network. Following them leads to an elaborate alarm system, which could be triggered by removing the stones. Oh my god. That's awesome. Alright. Can we mechanics this shit? Oh shit, maybe not. <laughs> uh... Well, here we go! I'll try it. Uh-oh. Pulling on every wire at once, and hoping that they all simultaneously fail to trigger the alarm, seems like a poor idea. And you decide against it at the last moment. Thank goodness. Alright, we have to come back to this, right? We need a party mm -hmm. member who specializes yeah. in mechanics to be able to do that. Fuck, that's so cool. That is so cool that we perception checked the shit out of that. Oh my gosh, I love the, like... Incidental, just random injections of perception checks and stuff. It's fucking great, right? Mm -hmm. They've done so well with uh, making more and more different checks, right? I remember that was a thing in Pillars 1, is that there ended up being just a whole lot more resolve checks than anything else, right? At least before the White March, huh? And now it seems like there's just little bits of everything, and it's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's head on out of here. There we go. We can come back to the bathhouse and take a bath and see what the hell happens, but for now, certainly we want to check out this coin purse situation, or the satchel situation, don't we? Along with this seal. Do you think the seal is important? Eh? It must be. Alright. No problem. Where'd our friend go to? Oh, he's out over this way, isn't he? Let's see here. Aren't you- oh, shit, no, where are you? Huh. Where have you gone? The Luminous Bathhouse. Okay. Yeah, where'd that guy go? Maybe time went over too quickly? Curious Lantern, name your price. Yeah, that dude is totally gone now. Huh. Okay. Weird. Did we say that we would meet him somewhere? Return Degnos' satchel to him at the Peddler's Canal in Queen's Birth. Okay. Uh, the letter in Degnos' plan descri- uh, Degnos' bag describes a plan to sabotage Aveta's ship. So Degnos can join the crew of the Principe Captain Talfor. Yeah, and who is Aveta, though? We don't know an Aveta yet. Okay. We could probably snitch on him uh, if we wanted. Right? Okay. Uh, Quitzli's Exotic Herbs. Let's have a look in here. Check out some of this herb. Damn, maybe we'll bring some of that herb down to the bathhouse. 
<laughs> have the ultimate fucking experience. Just achieve Chim. Damn. I have a peek in here. What was the other one? Oh, look. Hey, how's it going? Let's see. Yeah. Do, you, do you actually have anything in here that's really good? Do you have any really good stuff around here? I like really good stuff. Oh, broad-brimmed hat? Okay. That's the cool-looking cowboy hat shit, right? God, it's such a bummer. There's so many cool clothes and hats, and we're gonna end up wearing none of them because <laughs> we want the stats, don't we? Alright. And here we go. Cave coral, rahi pods. I'll take all that. Let's see. And this, mechanics. Okay, yeah. We can't pick into that yet. Fair enough, right? We can't pick into this. Just My double check. No sweat. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's see here. Head on up this way. How's it going? What Why, we got? hello. Could Steely at your service. Could Steely. Uh, she sets down her pruning shears and looks you up and down with a warm smile. I'm guessing you're already familiar with the herbs I sell? Ah. Only brought what I could fit in my pack when I left Isha Middle, so I rely on the local flora to keep supplies stocked. She gestures to a row of orchids and sealed pots. Her gaze wanders towards Seraphin and lingers there. <gasps> Do you guys know each other? Then she pulls her focus back to you, blushing slightly. Oh, ain't no shame in looking, lass. <laughs> oh, no, they don't know. She just thinks he's hot. Flashing a crooked grin, Seraphin bows to the herbalist. Aloth gives you a pain to look. <laughs> Irresponsibility. Okay. What brings an herbalist to Pariki's overlook? Money is the obvious answer. Yeah, but fair. I don't think that's what you're after. She smiles. Yes, I'm an herbalist, but I also pride myself as a florist. I think the city liked the idea of putting a flower shop somewhere visible. It's ostentatious, really. So she is from the Ishamital Plains or whatever. Same as Jody, which is why they have similar accents, right? Probably the same reason why we have a magic shop next door. Hariki's Overlook is a great big splash of culture and innovation. There to show travelers that the Huana are ready for the world at large. She shrugs. Show me what you have for sale. Alright, apothecary gloves. Wow. Plus one dex. Huh. And two alchemy. These thin gloves allow for fine movement of the fingers. The supple leather has been alchemically treated to provide protection from harmful compounds, thorns, and the other small hazards associated with the apothecary's trade. Okay. Twisted Root Doll. What the fuck is this? Once per rest, keywords figurines. Figurines are used to summon creatures to fight for your party. These summons will disappear when their duration expires. Right, and doesn't this mean that, like figurines just like in the old game, in Pillars 1, they last, right? You can recharge them, but they'll, they'll last forever. They were extremely useful, weren't they? Summon a vine lurker for 31.5 seconds. This bundle of roots is knotted into a rudimentary figure of a kith. The head of the doll contains an unknown gem wrapped in moss. The taut root fibers shudder and creak periodically, as if trying to pull free of its unnatural shape. Oh god. Yeah, they, these definitely must still work like the first game, right? To where they last forever, which is why it's expensive as hell. Some Taru Turu Chu. Dead eye. Let's see. Spear residue. Larvae. Man, you got everything, don't you? Reptilian blood. Drain from a reptilian corpse. This dark crimson blood seems to swallow heat and light alike. What the fuck? Okay. Huh. Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff here. Cool. Good talk. Mm -hmm. We may have to come back later. We don't yet have a designated alchemist, do we? Hmm, perhaps that's something we need as well. We'll have to see. Be tentative. We could, of course, convert Aloth to a... Well, no. Because Aloth is our metaphysics and arcana oh, expert, God. isn't he? And he will always be, right? He fits the bill m the most. Alright, what's up, Emeta? Uh, Emeta? Quench your thirst on the way up the mountain? Emeta inclines her head and gestures to a wagon loaded with kegs. What do you serve here? Spirits and the like. No one this side of the slope will scorn you for a little indulgence. She smiles. Oh, so on the other side of the slope, is it mostly just like all the pious areas and stuff, right? Okay, continue. Between us, 
folks tend to linger and spend coin in periquis when they've had a few. Good for business, I say. Show me what you got. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Unlimited this supply of all this. Rum, rice wine, milk. Is rum just the best for morale? Yeah. Grog's okay, but uh, man, rum is where it's at. People fucking love their rum. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Let's see. Can I yeah. maybe get a free sample? No problem. I wouldn't mind a free sample of some of your drinks. <laughs> All right. Let's just go on up over here and let's see. What have you got? Ooh, you know what? I'll take a free sample of money. I'll take a free sample of that. Yeah. All right. How about this? The dark cupboard. Is this a proper inn? It sounds like one, doesn't it? Gosh, there's another inn in this district. Does, do you think each district has an inn? Maybe, well, maybe not if there's like one a district devoted to specifically religious, whatever, religious devotion or government, right? Yes. This is why wizards get a bad reputation. Oh. What's going on here? Ironclad construct. Oh, shit. Can we interact with it? No. Yeah, okay. To see and not be seen. These things also cannot be pickpocketed. Fair enough. Sure. Let's see here. Now look. <laughs> you idiot. Sure. Look at this. Oh, man. Awesome. Look. Free ingredients. We didn't even need the alchemy shop from earlier. Look at this shit. These exotic spices sting your eyes when you lean in to examine. Living quarters. What's back here? What's this? I got nowhere else oh. to turn. Stonehill is going to kill me. Don't oh my gosh. drag me into your mess, Berteno. Not again. Then you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. Well, what are you hey, gonna do? Come back with that, Madiko. I pull out my gun and shoot him in the foot. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, well, he just fucking mm -hmm. robbed the place. Huh? What a dig. Got something Who would problem. rob this place? Jeez, mm -hmm. you have to be Get some this. real piece of work to do that. The eyes of this skull track have <laughs> have been replaced with polished stones that follow you as you move. Wow. Okay. Do they literally do that, or is it like a figure of uh? Of speech, so to speak. Okay, let's look in this. Can we uh, cover anything good here? Yeah, just you know, continue on your patrols, there, friend. Let's see here, and then all this. Sure. Let's see what we got. Ah, a scroll of Firebrand, Alos, and some water. Have a bit of a drink. All right. Wow, grimoire of vaporous wizardry. Let's see. Additional effects. Damage causes an interrupt. Grants extra spell casts. Huh? What does that mean? This is the first time we've seen a grimoire. Does that mean, like, outgoing damage or incoming damage? Which is what... Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. What do they have here? Necrotic Lance. Exposed vulnerabilities. Confusion. Ah, that's very good. Huh. We've never be before seen a grimoire that's new with this game that has uh, some sort of unique trait to it, right? Let's see. Meteor Shower is very good. The Wilting Wind, I remember being pretty good. Gaze of the Adragon, that was pretty useful. Malignant Cloud, we used that a lot because wasn't this... Yeah, it's raw damage. Huh. Well, maybe Aloth wants this shit, right? Maybe he fucking wants it. Weird. Can we get some sort of details on it? Inspect? No. Okay. It doesn't have any sort of, like, fun lore. That's very cool. Okay. Let's just sneak around over here. Leave it to me. Okay, we're being detected. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. What do we have over here? Anything else? My heart's in for a pun, good sir. Oh. Some sort of weird fortune teller. Dude, this place is awesome! Alright. Shit. The spine of thicket green. Oh my god. Well, I want that. Why not? Yoink. <laughs> Aloth, check it out. There you go. Look at this, man. We're making a killing in here. Look at all this. We're making so much good shit. <laughs> We're stealing everything. Oh my god, I love sure. stealing shit. Look, potion of moderate healing. Yes, please. Look at this. Good, huh? Up here. 
Can I just pick this? Yep, pick it. Give it a pick. There. There we go. And what's inside? Amulet of health. Yes, please. And this? What's in here? Wow! Potion of relentless striking. Oh my gosh. And how about up here? What's all this? Right next to this guy. Oops. And let's see here. Oh, good God. There we go. See and not be seen. All right, over here. And what have you got for me? Gunpowder. Ingredient. Huh. I don't think we've ever seen that as an ingredient. Gunpowder has been used in the old empires and eastern reach for several centuries, but it is only in the past 200 years that it has been put to use in cannons and personal weapons. A blend of charcoal, niter, and sulfur, in precise proportion, gunpowder burns quickly when ignited, making it an ideal propellant. Inventive alchemists also utilize this volatile powder to create powerful blasting charges and explosives, both for industry and warfare. Ah, all right. Let's see. Cool. Well, when next we come back, we'll look around here. But uh, before we do that, oh, check it out. There's more stuff we can steal. I wonder if we should come back here at night. Man. Yeah, I don't blame that person. This place is great to rob. Okay. Let's yes. first, before we go read a book, let's read about Alos' staff here. His new quarter staff. The Spine of Green Thicket. It's an exceptional piece of work. Quarter staff. Recovery time is 4.2. Let's see. Exceptional. It does extra damage. Let's see. Damage against vessels. Plus 5 accuracy against vessels. Plus 2 all plant ability power levels. Oh, this is for druids. Okay. Well, Aloth probably shouldn't use this then, huh? More best for druids, right? Especially since it's technically a melee weapon, quarter staff, and all that. No scepter. This gnarled staff is heavier than it looks, owing to the entwined length of amber and Audra running down its core. Story goes that this was originally the backbone of an ancient Adragon, who, upon noting the advance of outsiders into her forest, sacrificed herself to preserve its health. Many have claimed to possess shards of her petrified remains, and this is hardly the first spine to boast that distinction. Regardless of its origin, this length of wood possesses an uncanny echo of dormant power. Ah, very cool. Alright, let's see, let's stash it. We'll save that if we ever have a druid or someone who uses plant abilities, right? Okay, cool. And let's see, let's go and read a book. What do we have? We could do the Moons of Aeora, Skanite Scripture, Monsters of the Deadfire. Let's see, Beloved Land, Poems from Air Glonfoth. Let's do that. Let's see, we haven't read that yet, have we? Yeah, we're good. Okay, Beloved Land, Poems from Air Glonfoth. All right. The tree, the wind, who shall hear the voice of the wind? Its beauty, resplendent, unseen, intangible. Its tongue whispers the oath. I move, I carry, always will I fly, and always will I change, for nothing is permanent, nothing escapes my grasp. Who shall call the heart of the wind? It travels swiftly, fiercely, untouchable. Its fist howls the promise. I push, I break, never will I stop, and never will I land. All is in my domain, and all bend to my will. Who shall resist the force of the winds? Its anger presses, pushes, drives. And the tree answers its call. Yes, your voice is loud, your name is grand, your force is mighty. I shall not resist. I will not defy. I will bend. Your power shall wash over me. You... Oh, look, it's supposed to be the shape of a tree. I understand. Okay. Uh, you want me to bow. I will bow. But I will always stand. I will always return. I will always recover. That is my pledge. That is my promise. That is my oath. Uh, okay. Yeah. Trees. Fuck the wind. They don't give a shit. Alright. Interesting stuff. It li literally is just a, a sweet little poem from, uh, <laughs> Eric Lonfoth, I suppose, right? Okay. Cool. Or I suppose multiple poems, right? Yeah, multiple ones. The Tree, The Wind, and then... Oh, no, wait, yeah, this is just one. Yes, this is an excerpt of just one entire poem, right? Okay, yeah. Interesting, I guess. Uh, what can you do? All right, when next we come back, we'll rob some more of this place. We'll speak to Fasina, 
maybe uncover what the hell just happened with uh, whoever just went off with your whatever. Yeah, geez. They, as it turns out, they stole a lot of things. Jeez. The trick of the eye, surely. Definitely was not Team Watcher. We would never do that. Until next time, peace. Peace.